Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit special. I have not one, but two Mike Lane mods that we're going to be applying to our Ecto-1. So why don't we just get into it? All right, first up, we're going to take a look at this rear seat back cover. And uh, this is basically all you get, but man, this looks so much better. You've got uh, the metal trim here uh, and on the side as well. Uh, obviously, this is a paper backing. You'll peel that off. It'll be adhesive. It's got uh, built-in hollows for the four screws. Um, frankly, this looks incredible. Um, this feels like it's made from the same material as uh, the carpet mod um, but you know, I don't know for sure uh, it's also really thin I thought it was gonna be thicker but uh, it's really really not all right I'm gonna go a little free-floating camera here so uh, sorry for any jittery bits but uh, this is where it's gonna go right on the back of this jump seat here and you can see really just got the four screw bases. You're going to want to make sure that all, all of those screws are in nice and tight and flush, otherwise uh, you're going to run into an issue. And the sad part is, this little piece of plastic right here is going to have to come off. Now what I should do is actually pull all this up, but that's going to mean taking the entire base, uh, the entire interior off. We're gonna have to uh, take some of the cable channel stuff off. Um, really, that is a huge, huge deal. But I've done a little uh, test fit here, and this can slide in fairly easy without the need to take all of that off. The only real fun part is gonna be cutting off this little piece of plastic without cutting the seat itself. I'm gonna see if I can do this. Fingers crossed. Because that's a pretty tight fit there. Yeah, look at that. That came off fairly easy. Um, looks like the plastic underneath is white. Uh, let me get the seat back again. And when it's in place, yep, when it's in place all the way, it's going to cover that white. So you can paint it if you want, but you don't need to. The seat will take care of it. So really, the only thing left to do is to peel this off and put it in place. Look at that, that slid in perfectly. Uh, any issues whatsoever, and I didn't have to take the whole model apart like I was afraid I was gonna have to. That is awesome. Let's go a little free floating again. And let's take a closer look. Look at that difference. That is just amazing compared to that ugly plastic and screw holes that was in there before. Yet another very great job by Mr. Lane. Okay, the second mod we're going to cover are these wheel caps and they come in this very nice little plastic box here and it's got three different types of components. Component number one is this little piece of plastic and I'll tell you what that's for in a bit. Component two is this little magnet. And the remaining components are actually these wheel caps. So these are all magnetic. And just to try and show you here, this is uh, what they look like. And this is what comes with the model. Now these plastic ones are very difficult to remove and they look nice, but they're not accurate. 
these black and white ones are. Even better, because they are magnetic, you can cover them up with this and then use this magnet to pull them out. So they're much easier to remove if you need to, and this is so you don't damage the cap itself. Installing them, well, it really doesn't get much easier to install it. You just make sure that you don't have the manufacturer's cap in there, and you take the one from Mike and slot it in. Boom. And it's going to magnetically attach to the screw in the back. And look at that. It doesn't quite roll around with the tires, but, well, frankly, I don't think there's a lot of us that are going to be rolling this thing around once we're done with it. And that's all there is to it. You just do it three more times and you get all the tires. And there you go, y'all. Two more Mike Lane mods on the car, ready to go. I just, I love these little detail pieces. And Mike, being that cool mother he is, even gave us a spare uh, wheel cap just in case uh, we, we slip and lose one. Uh, I hope you liked the video. I know I really enjoyed putting this stuff on. Uh, and uh, if you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time. Have a great day.